Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to display percentage in pie chart in SSRS report. So let's go to the SSMS and take a look on our query that we are going to use in this report. So here I'm selecting a region and then I'm selecting items sold from the table called total sale. So these are two fields I will be using in this demo. So now if you run this one, we have region that we will be used as a category and then next part we have items sold that will be used as values. So let's go to the SSDT and create a pie chart and then display these values in percentages. Now go, once we are in SSDT, click on the reports tab, add and new item. Click on the report and here you will be providing the name. We call it pie chart percent add click on the data sources uh, add data source uh, and give the name so let's call this one ds sales and uh, use share data source reference uh, select the share data source that sales in our case click on the data sets uh, add data set uh, now provide the name of the data set uh, let's call this one d set uh, sales use as embedded data source and then provide the query hit okay on the design surface right click go to insert and then select a chart and here we will be selecting a pie so in the shapes that's the very first chart called pie click on that one hit okay now drag to the left so we can have more space to work on and show you things let's make it a little big so you can see uh, click here and the chart data window will open now provide the values of field so in our case it is the items are sold and next is category we have to provide the category in our case the category is the region now let's go ahead and preview our report as you can see that we have three region we have Asia Europe and North America and this whole circle or pie is divided into three parts now with the colors we can tell okay this blue is Asia orange is Europe and red is North America but we can't really see the exact uh, values of these uh. so the very first thing I would like to do I would like to do right click uh, and say show data labels uh. that will show us uh, the actual uh, values uh. so this is the sum uh, of the items sold uh, in uh, Europe region uh, and the 11 uh, is the sum of the items sold uh, in the North America and the 10 is uh, the sum of uh, items sold in Asia region uh. now this is great but we, what we would like to do we would like to see the percentage we would like to see out of 100 uh, for these uh, values uh, like okay for 19 how much how much percentage uh, is uh, sold in Europe and uh, uh, which percentage is sold in uh, uh, North America and Asia so let's uh, convert them to the instead from the actual numbers let's convert them to the percentages so go back to the design and you click on these uh, data labels uh, here so once it is selected right click and say series label properties in the general you have a label uh, data so here we have uh, expressions click on the expressions so what we are going to do here we are going to write our expressions so our expressions we have items sold so we'd like to take the sum of items sold by the category so in this case uh, let's say I don't know exactly the category name so I have to find that so let's let I have copied this one we can paste it back so cancel this out cancel this out as well now go to the categories first uh, and then uh, press F4 so once uh, you click on uh, category and press F4 it is going to take you to the properties uh, and then under the group uh, you can see the name of this uh, category so in the group we see that chart category group so that's what it is so let's copy this one actually and we can write the expression back and now click on here on the labels again and go to the series labels properties in the general go to the label data and here to expressions so what we would like to do we would like to take the sum of these each category and divide with the total sum of uh, our values uh, that will give us the percentage for each of the category so I'm gonna write it now sum and then uh, item sold and uh, the scope of this should be on the category level so that's what we did 
and next we will divide with sum of uh, the entire data set uh, so by doing it we will get uh, the per percentage uh, value for that uh, for the category now here let's do a sum again and uh, we have uh, comma and provide the data set name so we call it the set sales hit okay so this is all we have to do so we will be taking the sum of uh, this item sold field as per category so then we will divide with the total sum and that will give us uh, different values so in our case we have three we have asia europe north america so each category uh, value will be divided with the total sum and that's how we'll get those uh, three numbers uh, hit okay yes and hit okay now you can see it is uh, converted from number to the expressions review the report and you can see that uh, now this is how it will be displayed uh, to make it percentage we, we we were supposed to multiply with 100 uh, but if, uh, if we would like to do there that's fine otherwise uh, we have a very simple way to do it uh, so we have the number here we right click here label series label properties uh, and then go to number and then go to percentage uh, and here you can uh, define uh, the sample like do you want uh, decimal places uh, two or three or whatever you you can have that one and this is how it will be displayed uh, so we select the percentage uh, now hit ok now our values will be displayed in a uh, percentage uh, so now you can see that uh, 47.50 percent uh, uh, sale was happen in Europe and 27 point this was happening in uh, North America and uh, 25 percent uh, happened in Asia if you total of all these this will be hundred so as it is a percentage so that's how you will be displaying a percentage uh, on the chai on the pie chart one more thing uh, right now it's a simple pie chart even you will uh, go ahead and uh, play with it and change chart type from uh, to the exploded pie it should be just fine it should not change anything so even you can change to the let's say 3d or whatever you like so if you like the 3d that still should be fine and uh, one more thing if uh, we go ahead and change to the donut let's see what impact we would have in my understanding it should be the same because uh, donut is also pie chart but it has a hole in the middle so you can see that it is still the same so you can use any type of pie chart such as pie or simple pie exploded pie or donut and write this formula to show the percentage on these charts thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video